Good day everyone. I am your teacher for today. My name is Yoriel Clint C. Bihiga. Our topic for today is all about the characteristics of comets, meteors, and asteroids. Where did they come from? And how do we distinguish them from one another? But first, let us go back to the creation of our solar system. A huge swirling of cloud and dust encircled the young sun at the very beginning of our solar system. These cloud and dust particles interacted with one another in order to form large chunks of rock. These chunks of rock continued to interact with one another until their size became gigantic and eventually they became the planets of our solar system. Comets, meteors, and asteroids are the leftovers of the creation of the solar system almost 4.6 million years ago. Comets, meteors, and asteroids are too small to be classified as planets and there are billions of them in our solar system. All of them share some similarities which is why it is important to know how to distinguish them from one another. But first, let us discuss comets. Comets are essentially made of ice, rock, and dust particles that orbits around our sun. Comets are also called dirty or filthy snowballs. Comets are one of the leftovers in the creation of our solar system. Most of them are residing in the outskirts of our solar system. Occasionally, a comet's orbit can be altered by larger objects or from the collision of one another body, which sends the comet into our inner solar system and sometimes straight into our sun. The center of the comet is called the nucleus. The nucleus is made up of ice chunks and frozen gases with dust trapped in them. As the comet starts to move toward the sun, it heats up and the ice starts to vaporize. This forms a cloud around the comet and this is called the coma. A tail also forms as well and the comet's tail is made up of the vaporized ice and dust. Next are meteoroids. Meteoroids are usually fragments of asteroids that have collided with other bodies or comet debris. Some meteors are made up of rocks, some of them are made up of metals, and some of them are a mix of both. When a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, they will start to burn completely. The reason why they burn is because of the air resistance of the Earth's atmosphere. As it burns, it leaves a trail of light. This is called a meteor, or as we commonly call them, shooting stars. When a meteoroid is large enough to survive the entry of our atmosphere, it will end up hitting our planet's surface. It is then known as a meteorite. Next are asteroids. Asteroids are the giant rocky byproducts of our solar system. They usually orbit around the sun in an asteroid belt that is located between Mars and Jupiter. The asteroids in the asteroid belt never came to pull each other in order to form a planet because of Jupiter's strong gravitational pull. Asteroids are usually remembered as failed or unborn planets. Did you understand our lesson class? Do you have any questions? If not, then let's make a quick recap so that you can remember them easily. Comets are made of ice and dust and they are sometimes called as dirty snowballs. As the comet heats up, it forms a cloud around it called the coma. At the center of the comet is called a nucleus. 
A comet also has a tail that is made from vaporized ice and dust. Meteoroids are smaller rock or metallic rocks that came from asteroid debris or comet debris. When a meteoroid enters our atmosphere, it burns up and leaves a trail of light. This burning meteoroid is now called a meteor or a shooting star. When a meteoroid survives the Earth's atmosphere and lands on our ground, it is now called a meteorite. Asteroids are big, chunky rocks that usually orbit around the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Asteroids are failed or unborn planets. They are big, but not big enough to be classified as a planet. Thank you all for listening to this class. I wish you all a good day. Goodbye!